Bonjour, mes amis. So it has been Christmas now. So I hope you had a very nice Christmas. I had quite a nice one. But uh, my gift that my sister gave me was this very nice cocktail set you see here on my right. So I thought to myself, well, I think I might make something with this. So I thought I might as well film it and you guys might be here. You can tell me if you like it or not. Um, so it is quite cold weather now. So I thought I'd make a nice little drink just to warm yourselves up. Uh, so I thought I'd make a rum old fashioned. It will have a few differences. So um, forgive me and I am not a professional bartender. So again, forgive me for any small uh, mistakes or differences I make, but I think this might be quite nice. So just to introduce what I'm actually using today. So of course I have my uh, cocktail set here on my right. I also have a nice tumbler, which I have bought early on today. Uh, with some glass in it, which we, we will be using shortly. Um, so, so, the actual alcohol, the liquor, as they say, I have one bottle of Bacardi rum, it is spiced, and I also have this bottle of Captain Morgan's gingerbread rum. So, this will make a nice festive drink, I think, even though, as we say, Christmas is technically over, but it is still the season, so I think it is still quite appropriate. And here I have a slice of lemon, so that we will use this for the lemon peel. Uh, and also, I have thought this might be interesting, I got a little bit of ground cinnamon here. So, what we will do is uh, put the ground cinnamon in just a little bit and see if that adds to the sort of festive flavour. So, uh, just to begin with then, I will get my little uh, mixer here. And even though I think um, in the uh, uh, traditional sense, a uh, old-fashioned is made with the glass, I, I mean, I got this mixer, so I, uh, this uh, shaker, so I figured that I, will, I might as well use it. Uh, I, I'm not trying to be too professional anyway, so I don't think it matters very much. Okay, so here's some ice. So just first off, I'm going to put a couple of ice cubes in the mixer. We will not... In, oh, yeah, it's not called a mixer, it's called a shaker, I think. But okay, so I just put a couple... Oh, ice cube chart run away. Here it is, back in the cup. Okay, so I've got a couple of ice cubes here in uh, the shaker. So I'm going to get this uh, little... Um, Double jigger, I believe they call it, just to measure out everything. And oh goodness me, I just remembered I made myself some simple syrup early on today. So give me one moment and I will go grab that right now. Okay, so now I am back here at the table and here's my simple syrup. So it is uh, one cup of water and one cup of sugar. So it is just to add some sweetener to the mix. Uh, rum is a liquor and all liquors are quite strong, so I figured uh, you know, I might add a little bit of sugar to this just to make it a little bit more palatable, as they say. All right, so uh, we will start off by adding in the liquor first. So um, I think we will start off with maybe two parts um, normal spiced Bacardi. So let me just take the lid off. Yes, that is definitely nice rum in there. I will fill up the uh, large uh, section of the double jigger with liquor. Not all the way, but big enough. Splash that into the cup in the middle. And maybe, maybe another one. So just another little bit of rum. Maybe not all the way that time. And there we go. So that is the normal Bacardi in there. And now just a little bit of the ginger, gingerbread rum. Because I feel it will add a nice little festive twist to the entire mixture. So I think it will be a nice addition. Okay, so maybe this time uh, we will use... Oh, I just spilled a little bit of rum there. That should be fine though. So that is just the smaller part of this... Uh, mixture because of course we don't want too much alcohol in here it'll be quite a strong drink otherwise okay so in goes the gingerbread rum mmm it certainly smells like gingerbread okay so that is all of the uh, liquor in there so now what I will do is I will get a little bit of the simple syrup it is in a jar because uh, it is what we had available to put it in so this might get a bit messy but uh, hopefully not Oh, goodness me, well, I, I mean, I will try and put this in there if I can open the jar in the first place. Oh, there we go, opened up. Okay, so now I think um, we will put uh, about one part of uh, the simple syrup in here. Let's just gently fill it up. Oh, that's actually... Oh, wow, well, I barely spilled anything, okay? In goes the simple syrup as well. So, so far in the mixer, or shaker, however you want to call it, we have uh, two parts Bacardi spice rum, one part a uh, gingerbread rum from Captain Morgan himself. And then we have one part of a uh, simple syrup. So just sugar and water mixed together into a liquid. So that is all in there and two ice cubes, of course. So now what we are going to do, I will get a little bit of cinnamon. Now I'm going to be careful with this because of course you do not want too much and cinnamon could make it quite disgusting if you add too much. So I will just tap a little bit out 
just on the very edge of the cup as you can see. Right, that is put a bit of cinnamon in there and a little bit more. Let's just tap that. Okay, that is a little bit of cinnamon. I do not know if you will taste that, but uh, we will see. So, on goes the lid. There's a little strainer part at the top as well, and so we put the second lid on top of that. And now, you will give this a shake, so here we go. Bonjour, Monsieur Bond, would you like a martini? Okay, so we're gonna give this a real nice mix. Make sure everything is nicely incorporated. Okay, I can hear the ass getting broken up in there. That should chill our drink very nicely. Okay, one last shake, I think, and we will be good. Right, so let us, oh no, I just spilt a fair bit of it. Uh, okay, that should be fine, it, it's not a big deal, but uh, I might need a tissue. Uh, let me grab a wipe very quickly. Okay, so it appears we have now christened this lemon with uh, some spilt rum. But let's just use a wipe, wipe, wipe some of it up. It doesn't not ma it does not matter too much, but you know, it's not nice to make a mess, is it? Okay, so, this is actually a bit foamy now, so I ho hopefully that does not change the taste too much. Mm, it certainly smells quite nice though. I wish you could smell it through the camera, but of course, unfortunately, you cannot. So now, put this lid back on. Just take the top off if I can. I might have to use my apron. Never mind, the apron has very bad grip. There we go. Wonderful. So now, here we have our glass. Okay, so this is the important part. What I'm going to do is uh, double strain this. So I put the strainer on top like so, so it stays on the glass, very fancy. Okay, I hope I'm using it the right way anyway. And now what I'm going to do is tip the cocktail which has been very nicely mixed into the glass with all of that lovely ass. Okay, so there it is. Let me just double check that uh, that is all of it. Yes, that is all up. Okay, so let's put this to this side. So, so far it has been a little bit messy, but uh, I think it's been going quite well. So, put this that away just for the moment. I will have to clean this up afterwards. Okay, so there we have a nicely mixed uh, cocktail, but it is not done quite yet. So this is an old-fashioned, um, but for rum. But uh, uh, traditionally, you use a big cube of uh, ice, but I do not have the facilities to make such a thing. So, oh, excuse me, it's a bit of a burp. Uh, I know I would be burping after I drink this. But um, I will just quickly go and get a little bit more ice so I can fill it up a little bit more if that is fine. Okay, so now I have another tray of ice out here. I will just uh, get a few more of this. Let me see if I can uh, get it out. Okay, so that is one extra ice cube into the mix. Come on, can I get a few more ice cubes out of here? Yes, I can, it appears. Oh, oh I forgot, silly me. I literally have these little tongs, supposedly, for getting ice out. Oh, that works like magic. Wonderful. Okay, so that is another ass cube. Plops in the, into there. Can I get another ass cube, maybe? Hello, any one of you little fellows want to get out of your casing? Oh, this one wants to, I think. Wonderful. Okay, so you will also go into the cocktail. Okay, so plenty of ass, and I think it's just one more cube, and that should be good. So let's just quickly loosen these fellows up a little bit more. Oh, this one wants to come out, I see. Come to Papa Frenchman. Oh, he's a cheeky little bugger. Does not want to come out. Nearly have him. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. There we go. He came out. Wonderful. Okay, so I will now pop this last cube into the uh, little uh, glass. Very nice. Okay, so now comes what I think is the, one of the most crucial parts. We will now have to use some lemon peel. So I have a fruit knife for this very purpose. Uh, I've never used a fruit knife like this before for fruit, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to try and peel a nice little bit of lemon. Hopefully not get it in my eyes in the process. If I can even get any of the lemon peel off. Come on, please. Okay, I will... This is, prob this is probably angering many of you professional bartenders. But uh, I'm sorry, I, I do not really know how to do this properly. So we will do our best. We will just sort of... Get a bit more of this lemon peel and just sort of work our way along the lemon, as you can see. I'm probably cutting into the actual lemon a bit too much here, but oh well. I am not a professional and nor do I intend to be, so this is probably just fine. Oh goodness me, that is a very nice smell. 
Mmm, alright, so we have a lemon peel. So now, what we need to do is give this a little squeeze, just express all of these essential oils and juices from the lemon peel. That is nice. And then what I'm going to do is wipe the inside of the glass with the peel. What this does, it releases all of the oils and therefore the taste of the lemon will be very nice. Wonderful. And then what I can do is literally just pop the lemon peel into the drink. Okay. Very nice. Let us just clean up very quickly. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, a rum old fashioned with uh, a little bit of gingerbread rum thrown in there as well, with lemon peel, cinnamon, and uh, some nice simple syrup. So it is not the perfect version of the cocktail, of course, because I am an amateur. And as, of course, I will only go as far as an amateur can go. But I think this will look and taste quite nice. So I'm going to take a nice little sip right now. Oh, actually, before I uh, actually uh, make the drink, take a sip, I forgot something. I have a little bar spoon, or at least it is a bit like a bar spoon. It has a straw, so I assume that this, this is for uh, drinking things like mojitos. But I'm sure it will do just fine to give the drink just a final stir. Very nice. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, the climactic moment that we have all been waiting for. A rum old fashioned, made by me or by myself, very nice. Uh, and I guess with homemade, homemade simple syrup as well. I mean, this is not too much to brag about. It is only a, a cup of sugar and a cup of water heated until the sugar melts into the water. But uh, I, I quite like the fact I made it myself. It's all in this little jar here. Um, let's have one last smell before we go in for the taste. Mm, yes, you, you certainly get that, oui, oui, you get that uh, wonderful aroma of the lemon, and it's actually quite lovely, I think. Um, so I think this might be a very nice drink, in all fairness, but let's go for a sip now and see how it tastes. Hmm, yes, of course, I think the first hit I get is from, of course, the rum itself. Uh, I do not think I taste too much of that gingerbread, or, but actually, as I say that, I can uh, taste that gingerbread coming through at the very end. So, at first you saw that kick of rum. Yes, that kick of rum, then this simple syrup kicks in and you have a sweet taste. And there's that hint of lemon. Uh, but I think, I think the nicest aspect of the lemon is the just aroma. It's a lovely, fresh, refreshing uh, smell. And yes, I get a little tinge of that gingerbread at the end. So actually, I think this is a delicious cocktail. And considering it is the first one I've ever made, I think it is quite a nice little success, if I might say so myself. So I think uh, if all goes well, well, everything has gone well by the look of it. I mean, if I'm unconscious tomorrow morning, you know things have gone wrong. But uh, I, I think it has gone well. Uh, hopefully I can make a few more cocktails with this set and uh, I know I have a bit of gin in the kitchen So maybe maybe something like that. Maybe a daiquiri if I get a little bit of a uh, lamb uh, Although I think daiquiri is might be a uh, that might be rum too white rum in fact But anyway, so plenty of opportunities for me to make some new drinks uh, But here it is a, a rum old-fashioned with lemon gingerbread rum normal spice rum and simple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon and uh, speaking of that cinnamon, actually, having another sip. Hmm, I do not think I can taste too much of it, so perhaps, <coughs> excuse me, if I was to do this a second time, I would probably add a bit more cinnamon. Uh, apart from that, that is quite a nice drink. Um, and I just realized a little bit of uh, my moustache hairs fall, fell into my drink, so I will have to fish that out in a second. But thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I am grateful for you ha having a look at my little experiment with this cocktail. I think it was a, an experiment that went quite well. So thank you again. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video, when I, whether it might be baking or more cocktail making, we will see. But thank you for watching. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Send the barman over, please. Bonjour, Monsieur Bond. Would you like a martini?